the CS event from NVIDIA has released today. And uh, we got some bullshit to look at. So uh, here it is. Here's this guy, I forget what his name is. Uh, but here we go. The um, presentation for the 4070 Ti, which is only a few minutes long, starts at 13 minutes in. So let's go. Today, I'm excited to announce our next GPU in the family, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. The RTX 4070 Ti delivers up to three times the performance of our- Okay, so this is the fear of everybody when they started to watch this presentation, is that they're just gonna use the 4070 Ti and put DLSS3 on there. It's like DLSS3 just is fake re result. You're basically just cheating to get extra performance numbers. Because look at this, look at this chart here. It's F1 2022, um, that's about maybe two and a half, 25% faster, 50% uh, faster about that. What? three times faster okay that is dlss3 and then <laughs> go back to normal normal stuff it's like it's it's ridiculous because the day before on my other video i talked about it here the performance metrics for the 4070 ti are out and it seems like it's pretty much even with the 3090 ti so what the uh comparison that nvidia is trying to market here is that the 4070 ti is like up to three three times faster, which is absolutely bullshit marketing, three times faster than the 3090 Ti, and they're gonna sell this card for $800, whereas they sold the 3090 Ti back in the day, uh, about a year ago, for $2,000. So they're gonna say, oh, it's such a good deal because it is like half the price of a 3090 Ti. But the 3090 Ti was always overpriced and everybody always knew that. Uh, DLSS 3 is just not a good way to compare performance. It, it is completely unfair. The old cards can't do it. And these frames are not created equal. They are fake frames, which don't show you any new information on your screen. And they also increase input latency. So two things that you don't usually want. Now, don't get me wrong, the DLSS 3 is nice, but it shouldn't be shown as the card's performance, so. The 3090 Ti, it will max out your 1440p gaming monitor, delivering over 120 frames per second on modern games like a Plague Tale Requiem, Warhammer 40K Darktide, F1 2022, and Spider-Man Miles Morales. With the power of DLSS 3, the 4070 Ti delivers 1.8x per he also says the 4070 tie. This guy doesn't. Performance across a range of titles. So right here is where they are completely bullshitting you. Absolutely deceiving marketing. So they're saying that the 4070 Ti is 1.8 times faster on average. And they're saying average here because I know there's a lot of, um, I guess, uh, controversy about when AMD talked about the 7900 XTX and that it was not average but th they are talking about average performance there. And this just isn't true because we already have performance benchmarks on this card. And uh, yeah, it seems like it's slower in some, it just trades blows with the 3090 Ti. So I don't see how that would be. That's just lying. It's just lying. They're not specifying a CLSS three. They're just straight up lying to you because this is the best way for them to market this card because it's hard for them to justify a card jumping up $200 since last generation. The 3070 Ti was, yes, yeah, $600, and then this is going to be selling at $800. Like, it's hard to justify a 30% price increase. So they have to market it that they're comparing it to their already previously overpriced card, which just isn't fair. While consuming almost half the power. The RTX 4070 Ti is packed with 40 teraflops of... It's going to be available for $800. Um, reviewers are probably going to eat that up. $800? Yeah. The Ada shader cores, 93 teraflops of third generation RT cores, and 641 teraflops of fourth generation tensor cores. It features dual AV1 encoders to double the performance of video export. Okay, so that's AV1 encoders. Obviously, we already knew that. Everything in the 40 series is gonna have AV1. So that's good for content creators and stuff. This is a 12 gigabyte graphics card. So the 3090 Ti has 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM um, at a 34 8-bit bus, 384-bit bus. And then the, the um, 
4070 Ti has a 192-bit bus with 12 gigabytes of GDR6. So it's going to have slower memory performance. So it'll probably struggle a little more at higher resolutions, I would think. So you're comparing it against the 3090 Ti, which, uh, yeah, was a $2,000 graphics card. But we'd have to take into account current pricing here, which I'll talk about soon. The RTX 4070 Ti will be available on January 5th with a starting price of $799. The RTX 40 series is the ultimate GPU for serious gamers and creators. The RTX 30 series continues to be the best GPU for mainstream gamers, starting at just $329. Gamers and creators are turning to RTX laptop. Okay, and then they just talk, start talking about laptop. So literally the 4070 Ti presentation portion was a minute long. Okay, this is usually how it goes, but yeah, I wanted to talk about this here. So yeah, it trades blows with 3090 Ti. We already knew this. This is the uh, buying situation that Nvidia wants to put you in because they're at this point where their marketing strategy where they wanted to sell all of their 30 series cards because they had too many of them. That whole thing is pretty much passed. They, they've pretty much sold out on everything. And I just want to show you this here, which will basically prove that. I know the 3080, so last generation's 80 series card, um, never really went for MSRP, which was $700, but cards are still going for a, a th over $1,000 two years later. I and mean, that's because they're out of stock. Their their strategy to get rid of their old cards has worked basically. Now they can start to bring in the 40 series cards at those lower prices. So no matter as much as we bitch and complain to Nvidia that like, oh, you shouldn't buy these cards, they're bad value and everything. That it didn't matter. Well, what even though the 3090 Ti was a two thousand dollar graphics card, that doesn't mean that nowadays it doesn't go for that. If you look on the used market, and you're not looking at new cards then um, the 3090 Ti you can get for about $800 used. Now this is buy it now. You know that the 4070 Ti is probably not gonna sell for $800. There's not a founder's edition card of the, 30, of the 4070 Ti and it most likely will not sell for $800 at launch. Uh, board partners will probably be a lot more expensive, I would think, especially considering that they're going from $800 to $1,200 with, uh, with the 4080. And then you need to get board partner cards to fill that gap. For, oh, this is 3090. Ooh, I might be wrong on that, actually. There doesn't look like there's that many 3090 Ti's out there, but there's some 3090s. You can get 3090s for $800-ish, which looks like uh, it's about 10% slower than the 4070 Ti, at least in 3D mark. Uh, the the trade-off that you're making here is that the 3090 cards have 24 gigabytes of VRAM. The 4070 Ti has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. The 4070 Ti has DLSS 3, and the older cards do not. Um, and the 4070 Ti has AV1 encoders, which is all cool features and everything. What makes this card really appealing? Now, I don't think I would buy a GPU for DLSS 3. I would maybe buy a GPU. If I was going to get a new GPU, I'd probably get a new one just for AV1 encoding because I record videos. I wanted to compare also to the, the used pricing on some other cards. So it seems like the 3080 Ti, which is about 3090 performance, um, it's really close to it, pretty much within a couple percent of a 3090, uh, seems to go for, it just has less VRAM. So is it actually gonna be very similar performance to the 4070 Ti, which is just disappointing. Seems like you can get them for about 750 to $800, somewhere in there. At that point, I'd probably just go to a 3090. And then the 3080, um, 10 gigabyte model. Uh, if you don't want these OEM cards, then you can go to the other cards and it seems like you can get them for about $600 typically uh, used. Now these are used prices, not everybody's gonna buy used, obviously. The new Nvidia cards, uh, the new 4070 Ti just, it isn't really going to be that much better value than the other cards. Basically, they're just going up the product chain. It could have been a 3000 series card at this point because it just seems like it's a price upgrade to the 3080 based on the used market right now, $600 for it, um, for these used. Then yeah, you could pretty much just, you could pretty much justify just like, that's just a, a tier up on the 3080, but it's funny that's named a 4070 Ti because typically a 4070 Ti wouldn't be that expensive. A 70 Ti model wouldn't be that expensive. No matter what, we're not gonna really be able to change what Nvidia does here. Uh, we can basically just hope that somebody is able to step in and undercut Nvidia at these prices. Hopefully, because they're not making any improvements. Basically, they're stagnating. 
like if you remember back in the day, uh, about five, six years ago before Ryzen really started doing well, um, that's what Intel was doing. Basically, Intel, like generation on generation, was barely any uh, performance uplift between their CPUs. And it was really disappointing, but they were doing that tick tock cycle or whatever. And it just didn't really make any improvements year on year because they were in a comfortable position. So Nvidia is getting a little bit too comfortable right now with these 40 series cards, especially. And I think it's just going to get worse over time. We'll have to see what the lower tier cards are doing. But they're getting a little bit too comfortable and they need somebody else to step in and try to undercut them and that to try to take some market share because when you stagnate like this yeah they nvidia could drop their prices but they also want to uphold a brand new reputation that they are the expensive good card that if you want the whole package this is a card that you're going to get and i was really hoping with the 7900 xtx and the 7900 xt that amd was going to completely undercut them and if those cards were charged $200 less than what they were, then I don't know if that was possible, but yeah, they would have been really, really good cards. And those probably would have been, that would have been the hands down decision that everybody should buy those, but it wasn't, um, I'll have to wait and see if a, a rising situation happens that undercuts that undercut Intel years and years ago and stole some market share. I don't think it's going to happen in this generation, but maybe the next one. So it'll be it time for graphics card the market is a uh, pretty ass right now anyways see ya